Welcome to Lab 360, where we bring you all the latest happenings from the world of astronomy. NASA is preparing to bring its capstone spacecraft to launch soon and travel to the moon, and it will provide a massive stepping stone for the Artemis mission soon. The spacecraft is only the size of a microwave oven, and it weighs around 55 pounds only. Its main goal is to demonstrate an experimental orbit for the coming NASA Gateway, a lunar outpost for its future missions. Capstone is a CubeSat that NASA turned into a spacecraft that is only 55 pounds in mass and takes on the size of a microwave oven. According to NASA, the team is preparing to send a small satellite that will help the company determine massive information for its future Artemis mission. Capstone, which stands for Cislunar Autonomous Positioning System, Technology Operations and Navigation Experiment, will help the company determine more about how the moon's orbit works. The Capstone satellite would be the first spacecraft that would look into this and bring answers to NASA that will help its future mission to the moon. The space agency is preparing to set up a lunar outpost on the moon in its upcoming mission towards it, but it would not send its spacecraft right then and there. It will focus on the capstone that would bring answers to the lunar orbit before it goes on for the real deal. NASA's Gateway is the lunar outpost venture of the company for the upcoming Artemis moon mission, and it would help in setting up camp for the future. NASA is not shying away from showcasing many of the technology that will come for the Artemis moon mission, and it will focus on bringing the public much information about all things regarding the upcoming venture. One of the latest ventures of NASA is the wet dress rehearsal of the Space Launch System SLS, rocket bound for the moon. The company is also focusing on transportation methods that will be available while on the lunar surface, and not only a vehicle that will take them from the planet to its natural satellite. A planned electric vehicle is coming to replace the 1980s Astro van, and it is with EV manufacturer Canoe to fulfill the car's design and technology come to its mission. Of course, NASA is also preparing its astronaut candidates for the Artemis mission, as it would bring the first woman to the moon. Many preparations are set in place to ready the upcoming mission, as it would be a significant one, as it would be the return to the moon after several decades since the last. Capstone will help set up a massive advancement on the future moon mission, and it will do so despite it being a small spacecraft. Before Gateway launches for its purpose, the Capstone will provide an experimental test on its orbit. We cannot wait for the Artemis mission to kick off. About you? Drop in your comments to let us know, and don't forget to subscribe to Lab360, because in space we trust. The very first nation to reach the surface of the moon was the Soviet Union. A man-made spacecraft known as the Luna 2 arrived at the surface of the moon in 1959. Fast forward a decade later, and the first manned mission landed on the moon on the 20th of July, 1969. It was a historic day for mankind, or as rightly put by Neil Armstrong, it was one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. The last manned mission to the moon was Apollo 17, taking place between 7 and 19 December 1972. It was a 12-day mission and broke many records, such as, the longest spacewalk, the longest lunar landing, and the largest lunar samples brought back to Earth. After that there has been no manned mission to the moon, and with technology at its peak today, it was only a matter of time before we sent humans to the moon again. Enter, Artemis 1. NASA has finally made the announcement, that we've all been waiting for. The Artemis 1 is going to be an uncrewed test flight for NASA's Artemis program. This mega-rocket is designed to take humans back to the moon. Artemis, NASA's future lunar expedition, is about to get a little closer to an official release date. The stacked spacecraft and rocket have been approved to roll out from Kennedy Space Center's launch pad in Cape Canaveral, Florida. If the weather permits, this mega-rocket will make the four-mile journey from the assembly building to the launch pad where further tests will be conducted. The estimated time for this journey is expected to be 11 hours. Engineers will spend roughly two weeks preparing for a wet dress rehearsal after the spacecraft and rocket have been positioned at the launch pad. These tests confirm that the rocket can be loaded with super-cold liquid propellants. The wet dress rehearsals call to stations is planned to take place on April the 1st, with tanking operations beginning on April the 3rd. The live coverage for the Artemis 1 rollout will begin on the 17th of March. Before wrapping up the rehearsal, draining the fuel tanks, and preparing the rocket for its return to the vehicle assembly building, which should take another eight to nine days, engineers and technicians will practice the launch countdown to just inside T-10 seconds to test the rocket's responses to a flight termination scenario. The Orion spacecraft can hold up to four people, but when the Artemis 1 mission launches later this year, it will be devoid of humans. 
Orion will transport men into orbit, sustain them through other moon trips, and keep them safe during re-entry from deep space and future Artemis missions. With Artemis missions, NASA will achieve this accomplishment of landing the first woman and first person of color on the moon, using innovative technologies to explore more of a lunar surface than ever before. NASA will set an official launch date for Artemis 1 after the rollout, assuming all tests are successful. Artemis 1 is an unmanned spacecraft that will go thousands of kilometers beyond the moon before returning to Earth in three weeks. Artemis 2 will take a crew on a lunar flyby, and Artemis 3, the mission's ultimate stage, will bring people to the lunar surface for the first time since the Apollo 17 moonwalks in 1972. This is just the start. The end goal has always been the colonization of Mars. This will be a giant leap in terms of space advancement. What do you guys have to say?